Um, iti daito yung kabsat nga video tayo. We are going to uh, discuss a theme uh, that I would like you to give your very best attention. Uh, ano kayo kung mga ang kumagbaling na confusion kada kayo kabsat. Dikit kabsat na jay uh, very important kabsat nga nga message na nga meaning na kabsat ito dito nga in tayo pag-adalan kaya uh, ma-absorb tayo kung ma truly iti panunod kayo puso tayo kabsat uh, because this is something critical ang kayo magbaga nga dagi na doon mga videos tayo dito yung napag-adalan tayo kaya tayo nga importante uh, because of its uh, uh, need iti na ito yung agdama nga panawin tayo kaya uh, this is very important to each and every one of us. So, our uh, theme, I think, uh, pagtutungtungan tayo kabsat, is the letter and the spirit of the word. The letter and the spirit of the word. And uh, <clears throat> I have uh, some selected scriptures here that I would like to, uh, would like us to <clears throat> consider kabsat. Um, Ito na ito yung video tayo. And it is in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 to 6, where the Apostle Paul says uh, to the Corinthian believers, Do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we, as some others, epistles of commendation to you? Or else of commendation from you? You are our epistle, written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart, and such trust have we through Christ to God ward. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. And with this, I would like to bring you to another portion of scriptures here in the Gospels, John chapter 6, verse 63. The Lord Jesus Christ says, It is the Spirit that quickeneth, it is the spirit that quickens or brings life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the letter and the spirit of the word. <clears throat> uh, number one that I would like to bring to you under this uh, theme kabsat is the contrast the contrast <clears throat> um, as we observe Kabsat in John chapter 6 verse 63 uh, we can see here the very clear contrast uh, sabi niya it is the spirit that quickens the flesh profits nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so the words that the Lord Jesus Christ speaks our spirit and they are life. Let us see the context of those verses mamaya po. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, it says, uh, <clears throat> who, has, who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit, for the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. So, I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, um, you can see there uh, uh, in our next slide, um, we can see the very obvious contrast. Apostle Paul says, the letter kills and the spirit gives life. So, anyaman dito yung letter ng ibagbaga ni Apostle Paul. And it's very uh, harmful because it kills. It kills a man spiritually. And it kills a man into eternal damnation. It kills. And that's a very sharp, very hard word to see. 
So in, the, in this in this negative side, uh, we can emphasize comes at the contrast because the spirit gives life. If the letter kills, it is very clear that the spirit gives life. So that is a very uh, clear cut, a very clear cut contrast. You can see the very opposite difference of these uh, two. Uh, the uh, first kills and the spirit uh, gives life. So this is very important. This is a matter of life or death. Yeah? If one is bound in the letter, the letter kills him. If one is bound in the spirit, it gives him life. So, Apostle Paul says, we are not a minister of the letter because it kills. We are a minister of the spirit because it gives life. Now, next, number two, I would like us to see the contours. By contours, is the defining line or what are the lines that defines uh, letter and spirit it is also in the just when it says letter and when it says spirit as you can observe Kamsad, in our English Bible that the spirit here is uh, printed in small letter S usually Kamsad, in many translations no, itutukuyin tayo Kamsad, is the third person of the triune God it is always capitalized. But is it in, he, in here, it is in a small letter S. So what does the spirit mean? What does the letter mean? So in, in our contour, uh, we can see here, number one, uh, the letter means legalism. Many thinks that the letter that Apostle Paul is speaking there is the law. Uh, but I believe it's not. But I believe, come side, it is the system, and it is the means where it is being implemented. Legalism, Kamsat, kills. Yeah? Uh, and, and, and another thing is formalism. Formalism. They are very observable in our text. And another, the third thing is materialism. Those are relatives. Agkakamsat dagitanga words, Kamsat. When one is present, the other the others are present also. They always go along. They are a package deal. No adda kin kajimaisa, sigurado ng adda, mo lang di kakaduana, kamsait. So if you are buying in legalism, you will fall into formality. If you are, for, if you are uh, bound in legalism and formality, you will be materialistic in your approach and view of the Christian faith and the Christian life. Ano po? So, <clears throat> That is the letter. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I would like us to uh, go back to uh, our text in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, please. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, <clears throat> or 1 to 6. I would like us to read this again. Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we as some other epistles of commendation to you? or letters of commendation from you. So that is a form of formality. Yeah? False teachers uh, came to Corinth bringing with them uh, letters of commendation. Yeah? But they, th those are false, Kamsat. They have sugar-coated their falsehood with formality, with legalism. They appear to be prim and proper. They, they appear to be formal. They look good. Yeah? I'm not against uh, commendation letters. Yeah? No, may nga Christiano in our church and he desires to be a member of our church. Uh, it is in our uh, <clears throat> uh, bylaws of our local church that we should require a letter of commendation. A recommendation from the former church where he came from. I'm not, see, I'm not against formalism. Uh, I'm, I'm not against uh, recommendation letter and commendation letter, but I am against formality. 
You see, they, these people, by their formality, want to uh, overthrow the true apostle, Apostle Paul, and some other apostles, uh, in their formality. Yeah? And, uh, <clears throat> said, but Apostle Paul says, We are our epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God. These people, Kabsat, are giving much more weight on the ink. They are giving much more weight on the material, uh, in formalism, in legalism, in the letter, Kabsat. Uh, but in their being faithful to those things, Kabsat, they are missing the most important thing. Ano po? And uh, it has blinded them. It, ha it has imprisoned them to a place, Kabsat, where they became hostile to the true teachings of the apostle. Now, uh, on the other text, Kabsat, in uh, <clears throat> John chapter 6, verse 63, um, the context here, Kabsat, is uh, apostle or the, the Lord Jesus Christ is uh, combating the legalism and materialism of the Judaistic religion or that corrupt religion of the Jews. They have uh, uh, taken the, the laws and the prophets uh, legalistically and uh, uh, mat in materialism kabsat. and so I mean kabsat, nga, uh, applications da and interpretations da and gijay, scriptures is uh, going into legalism they are imprisoning the people kabsat, by their legalistic doctrines their traditions kabsat, uh, the gijay, na materialan nga banbanag that they want to be done and and want to implement to people kabsat, while excusing themselves. So the Lord Jesus Christ is against that legalism. Kabsat. Yeah? And so the Lord Jesus Christ said to them in John chapter 6, kung nani abutin Yeso Cristo kanyada, uh, agbirbiro kayo timakan kanyak, nagbiro kayo timakan kin ni Moses, inikanda kayo iti mana in the wilderness, your forefathers ate it and they were fed they were full, but afterwards, they died. Yeah? Umay kayo kanya, kagbiro kayo ti makan, kung na ititid ko, kada kayo nga makan, kit da ito'y bagik, da ito'y ititid ko nga makan nyo, and da ito'y darak, so ititid ko, kada kayo nga inumin nyo. Yeah? And da ito'y kabsat nga legalistic and materialistic nga tatao who understands the word of God superficially, and it is desire da kabsat kit material things lang iti lubong. And it is desire niya da kabsat kit legalism kabsat. Iti nangig da da gitu yung kuna na ijay, John chapter 6, nga de many of his disciples, or da gijay sumurusurut kanya ng agdingdingig, went away and never came back. Ano po? So kabsat, iti na ito yung statement niya po ito ngayon sa Kristo. Ah, Intend na kanya na dito yung statement niya kung na na kanin yung bagik, inumin yung darak. Yeah? To emphasize to them, kabsat, the spirit of the word. Yeah? Nga itibagbagan na puti ngayon, so Kristo are spiritual and not carnal. Yeah? So when they heard it, and they take it superficially, they take it materialistically, they were offended, they cannot understand, and they departed. Ano po? Hindi kahit ni baga niya po ito ngayon, so Christo ijay, is that they may believe on Him. Na iso na iti biyag, iso na iti mga ipaay iti biyag. So the Lord Jesus Christ says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Adam Clark, one of the translator of the King James Version says, the spirit here means the teachings or the doctrines 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ano po? So, uh, <clears throat> now, um, again, uh, let's go back to the contours. So, we see the letter. The... <clears throat> It is it is writing a letter. Kamo sa tinig, ma-define kamo sa tinig. Writing a talung a words, legalism, formalism, and materialism. And tinig may kadwa kamo sa tinig is the spirit. It is the doctrines or the truths or spirituality or life kamo sa tinig. Di tama titi kaya na sa wain titi spirit kamo sa tinig that is used by John in in First John chapter four, and it is used by our Lord Jesus Christ and also by the Apostle Paul. By the Spirit, we mean the doctrines and the truths that is contained in scriptures, not just the letters, not just legalism, formalism, and materialism. It's not the ink, but it is the writing of the Spirit in the heart of true believer. The tanga panawin tayo kabsaid, and that may isang controversy about uh, a new uh, created, new found, quote and quote, uh, doctrine of preservation of scriptures, where these people literally believes that the originals that are written by. Uh, the inspired people that are lost now are literally preserved in the King James Version of the Bible. So I just can't reconcile that thought that those originals are lost and again they are preserved. Lost and preserved, it seems those are very contradictive words that cannot be uh, reconciled at any point, kabsaid. But these people literally believe that those uh, exact words from the originals are preserved with the equal inspiration, kabsaid, in the King James Version. And so, uh, they have created their own idol and started to condemn others who do not adhere to their beliefs. So, I'm saying, uh, instead of giving heed to such doctrines of men, uh, <clears throat> I would like us to consider this more important and weighty. We can see, brothers and sisters, how the apostles captured that spirit of the word that the Lord Jesus Christ is saying. It is written in their epistles. Makita tayo, Jacob said, the spirit of the word. Makita tayo, Jacob said, the doctrines that are giving life to everyone who believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. They're administering life, Jacob said, to every true believer of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I would like to propose also, nga dagito yung kabsat, nga spirit, of uh, the word are also captured by the reformers. Uh, we have the Westminster uh, Westminster's Confession and uh, the Westminster uh, Catechisms. We also have the London Baptist Confession of Faith and uh, the London Baptist Confession Catechism. Uh, all of these kabsat are available. Uh, for every one of us kabsat, to to have and check and see the uh, kabsat nga doctrines uh, that are held uh, by uh, great Christians of uh, faith and piety uh, it is Christian history uh, Christians that are also illuminated by God and have spent much labor and time kabsat, in the uh, study and uh, proper exposit of God's word, they really captured the spirit of the word. And uh, we can see the labors of the, the apostles 
uh, to bring to us the spirit, the life of the Word of God, and also uh, some great church fathers and Christians in the past campsite. Um, and they have really left a very clear footprint uh, for us to follow. Natanga pa na wenta yung kamsat. Ngayon again, uh, if we uh, just uh, fall into letters and miss the spirit of the word, uh, amin da gito yung kamsat kita mawanan iti panakabalin kenhan nga administer iti biag iti Si Asino mine. So, upside, I would like us to go to our point number three, uh, which is the conclusion. Um, <clears throat> now, I would like to give two conclusions. You can uh, have more uh, as you meditate upon this sermon that we have, uh, that I have given you today. But uh, <clears throat> I have uh, give two conclusions for this uh, sermon that we have, uh, that I have given to you. And first of this is uh, that the Word of God is best written, preserved, not in letters, but in the Spirit. Again, Apostle Paul says, it is not the ink that is more weighty, but it is the writing of the Holy Spirit in your hearts. So, uh, we can see that through in history kamsat yeah uh uray kunata yung uh, uh, King James version iti Bible iti amin nga tattao yeah, if uh, they will not be able to take the spirit of the word uh, it will be useless it's not a guarantee nga iti may isa nga tao no adda kanya na di King James version ket uh, sigurado nga correct doctrine na i can prove you that kamsat um, ada iti may isang uh, uh, grupo iti Pentecostal Lanta who hold on to the KJV as their Bible and, um, uh, they have come up into an interpretation of scriptures where they say uh, the sin of mankind is not disobedience but rather unfaithfulness they say that uh, the sin of Eve is that he committed sex with the devil. Yeah, they hold a KJV in their hands, but they it does not assure that they have proper doctrines. And uh, so we can see, Kabsat, and observe these proponents of what we call the KJV onlyism now. Iti makita tayo kadakwada Kabsat is uh, pump and legalism and materialism as if uh, no agbaligid ay ito yung alaban da and co- be able to convince the whole of America na iti sasawin ni Apo Diyos is the, is the King James Version and, and the enemy of the King James Version is the Roman Catholic Church as if they are going to organize an American armada and set a sail to to attack Spain or Vatican or or whatever kind of uh, of thing that we can observe kabsat iti carnality iti cause iti kastoy kabsat nga nga ad adal so again uh, the truth of the word of god is best preserved and best written in the heart of men and another thing is the truthfulness of God's word and the Christian faith is not manifested in the material thing. It's not in a denomination. It's not um, in a Bible version. Um, and whatever thing that man would come up, but rather it is manifested in the person who possess uh, this profession and faith and transformation. Iti uh, pakitaan, iti truthfulness, iti sasao ni Apo Diyos Kabsat, kahit iti uh, profession of faith and transformation, iti biag 
iti may isang tao dayta iti mas importante kabsayt ken nadagdag sen so kabsayt sapay kuma ta hantay lang kabsayt nga ag uh, <coughs> maki argue or maki ag develop iti may isang uh, klase iti indifference uh, and bitterness iti puso tayo because of uh, these doctrines of men uh, but rather see to it that we have the spirit of the word in us greatly possessed in our hearts and mind and is manifested kabsat, in how it gives administers life transformation godliness faith gentleness charity hope in our life that is the most important part of a uh, thing that the word of God came to accomplish. Iti da ito yung kabsat nga lubong. Ngayon iti biyag ito mong galmay sa kada tayo. So aming san manin, uh, madayo ni Apo Diyos kita till our next video.